In Act 2, Section 1 of The Importance of Being Earnest, at the Manor House, Jack's country <laughs> estate, Miss Prism tries to get Cecily Cardew to study her German. Cecily resists and distracts Miss Prism by talking about her caretaker, Uncle Jack, and his troublesome brother, Ernest. Cecily suggests that Miss Prism could reform Ernest because she's so knowledgeable. Miss Prism scolds her. Cecily blames memory for nearly all the three volume novels they encounter. And this comment leads Miss Prism to admit she wrote a three volume novel when she was young, but abandoned it. Dr. Chasuble enters. He has feelings for Miss Prism. Cecily says Miss Prism has a headache <laughs> and would benefit from going on a walk. Dr. Chasuble and Miss Prism go for a walk, leaving Cecily alone to curse her lessons. <clears throat> As Act Two opens, Cecily's fascination with Ernest is clear. In this attraction, Wilde alludes to a popular character type, the attractive bad boy whom women want to reform. The exchange between Cecily and Miss Prism creates several examples of dramatic irony in which the audience understands something the characters do not. When Miss Prism discusses her abandoned novel, she says, the good ended happily and the bad unhappily. That is what fiction means. The idea that an art form so predictable could influence anyone makes the idea absurd and critiques the shallowness of some Victorian literary conventions. Miss Prism here is shown as a silly woman, a product of her class and culture, rather than a wise, refined tutor. <laughs>